It's been 94 days, but football is finally coming back. And with the championship coming back, this of course means that previews are coming back very soon. If you didn't know, I preview every Forest game we play, so if you're not a Forest fan, then you don't have to watch it if you don't want, but you know, if you are, then look forward to that. I don't think people are going to take me very seriously with these glasses on. Hi. But anyway, it's time for the championship prediction video. Disclaimer, it's the most unpredictable league in the world. I'm not an expert, so don't kill me in the comments. Thank you. 24th place, Barnsley. Yes, I am going to wear these sunglasses the entire video. Why not? Seven points adrift of safety. And their final three games are Leeds, Forest and Brentford. So it's not looking good for them. I mean, they still have to face Wigan and Luton as well, which could definitely work in their favour, but I don't see it happening for Barnsley, unfortunately for them. So sorry, Barnsley fans. 23rd place, Luton Town. I just think Luton are going to be unlucky. I think they have a lot of fight, a lot of spirit and passion, but they're just not good enough, quite simply. They do actually have quite a favourable run of fixtures, but they also do still have to face... Well, their first three games, in fact, are Preston, Swansea and Leeds. All very difficult for them. However, like I said, they still have to face Barnsley and Hull. Huge games for their season. 22nd place, Charlton Athletic. It was really difficult, this, between Charlton and Hull. I probably should take these glasses off now, shouldn't I? But what really swayed it for me here is, of course, Lau Taylor, one of their, well, their best player, you know, best player for them. Basically, he just said, you know what, can't be asked to play for you anymore. I'm better than Charlton. And if you're going to have a player like that in your team, I frankly don't want you to play for my team. And of course, like I said, they still have to face Hull and Wigan as well. So big games. Only won one in their last five games, which isn't great either. And they still have to face the likes of Millwall and Leeds. I don't see Charlton staying up only... Who knows, Hull could join them, and they're the team in 21st. I say join, I mean replace, obviously. But of course, Hull, they've lost their star man in Yarra Bowen. 17 goals in just half a season. If you're going to lose a player like that with that tally, you know you're going to struggle, aren't you? As well as the likes of Gazitsky to West Brom. If you're going to lose, like I said, two key, key players for Hull, both buggered off. You know, that it's not really looking good for them. And would you believe it? They actually haven't won for 13 straight games. So I think a break definitely came at the right time for them. They also have issues off the pitch with their owner's hull. So who knows? They could very well go down. They could quite easily get relegated. Their last two games before the break was 5-1 to Stoke. That's Stoke City, by the way, and 4-0 to Leeds. 20th place, Middlesbrough. Of course, they were in the playoffs basically all of last season. But this season... It couldn't really have gone any worse for them, could it, really? Obviously, they have been constantly down in the relegation zone, and even at times they have been in the relegation zone. But I think they will have enough. I'm amazed that Jonathan Woodgate hasn't been sacked because his objective at the start of the season would have been to get promotion. But instead, he's in a relegation battle. Only one win in their last five, and they still have to face the likes of Stoke and Hull, and even harder games than that, Millwall, Bristol City and Cardiff. So I think Borough will just have enough, but it will be difficult. 19th place, Wigan Athletic. Now, Wigan, they're one of those teams that aren't that great, but they do tend to get quite a few good results at the same time, i.e. beating Forest, of course, my team, if you couldn't tell, as well as Leeds and West Brom in their own backyard 1-0. And three of their final five games of the season are massive. Barnsley, Hull and Charlton. I think Wigan will be alright, but that will decide their fate, in my opinion. And they still have to face the likes of Brentford and Fulham. So, I mean, that's going to be difficult for them, but they should be alright. 18th place, Stoke City. Second straight year in the Championship has not gone well at all for them. Obviously, they've got three massive games remaining against Borough, Wigan and Barnsley, like I would have already said. Huge, huge games there and even harder games against Leeds. Bristol City, Brentford, and of course, my team, Forest. And their recent four isn't great either, only winning two in their last five. But I don't see any reason why they would get relegated. They seem to be stable in around about 18th, which isn't good, but they should be fine. 17th place, Huddersfield Town, of course, last season and the season before. Fantastic in the Premier League. And for a lot of my time knowing Huddersfield, they have been a team that have, you know, been in this region in the championship and they've gone straight back to type this season as it seems which is a bit of a surprise obviously Carlin probably said that wrong Grant has been fantastic for them this season 16 goals I would not be surprised if he joined a Premier League club or at least a bigger championship club next season 
he's clearly got the ability. They still have to face the likes of Wigan and Luton as well this season, which should definitely be wins for them. Uh, and they also still have to face Forest, Preston, West Brom and Millwall. So huge, huge games there for Huddersfield. But this should be fine. 16th place, another team that's got nothing to play for, obviously. Birmingham City. Obviously, their manager, Pep Cottel, probably saying that wrong, announced last week that it's going to be leaving the club at the end of the season. So that's not really going to inspire the players to try. It really, is it? Not won for seven straight games before the break either. And they start to play the likes of West Brom, Fulham and Preston. So it's not going to be easy. There's eight points above the relegation zone though, which, you know, is more than doable. They, they should be fine, Birmingham. 15th place, Sheffield Wednesday. And just like Forest, they beat Leeds. This time 2-0 away from bloody home. And they've gone on an absolutely horrendous run of form. It just always seems to be the case. I've got a Leeds fan next door and he backed my points up. I think it is also the fact that they may potentially be dots 20 odd points. I don't know how true that is. And the players were like just not trying for some reason. But it's very sad Shifford when instead of gone from being a genuine playoff contender, I thought they would get the playoffs at one point in this season, to being literally nowhere in 15th place. And we literally play them at the start of the season again. The also still have to face Bristol City, West Brom, Preston and Fulham. Very tough fixtures there for them. 14th place, Reading. A better season than previous seasons, Reading, after obviously being on the absolute brink of the Premier League, but it still hasn't been that great, really, has it? Their form before the break wasn't even that bad. Three wins out of five, and their biggest games left are against Brentford and Swansea. So, not great. They've improved, but 14th about right for them, I'd say. 13th place, QPR. This team were kind of in and around the playoffs. And I think at times they have been in the playoffs this season under Mark Warburton, of course. Obviously, they lost Anaki Wills to uh, Bristol City. I think it was on loan from Burnley, of course. But uh, again, it's it's kind of tanked, really, hasn't it, for QPR? I don't see them getting anywhere near the playoffs. Maybe they could push for the top 10 because their fixtures are kind of in their favour. The only real tough games they got left, in my opinion, are Fulham, Millwall and West Brom. Other than that, they've got quite a few decent fixtures, so you never know. 12th place, Derby County. What a joy it's been to watch Derby this season. However, though, not being biased, genuinely, I find it incredible that you lose three lone players. Yes, OK, they were very good. And a manager like Frank Lampard, who prior to last season had literally no experience as a manager, you go from player final to being... For majority of the season, even lower than 12. I don't think Rooney can carry them like they did, to be honest. I mean, he's, he's improved them a little bit. Probably the reason why they have gone up slightly, but nothing more. They do still have a lot of tough games left, though. Millwall, Preston, West Brom, Forest, of course, Brentford, Cardiff, and bloody Leeds. That is a really tough run for Derby. And also only two wins in five. 11th place, Blackburn Rovers. They've had a decent season. They really have. They're being League One not even that long ago after... We relegated them, but we won't talk about that. They've actually done pretty good. They have been in the playoffs at times this season, and they've given Forest two very good games. I never played them as well, but I I just think it's a little bit too far adrift for them now. I mean, having said that, only three points, but there's a huge amount of teams, and from 11th to 6th, it is incredibly tight. I can't even believe how tight it is for the amount of teams that are fighting for 6th, and it's such a tight gap. And one thing I find amazing is all these teams are actually on quite poor form. They do still have to face the likes of Bristol City, Leeds, Cardiff, West Brom and Millwall. 10th place, Swansea City. Now, I think Swansea are going to be unlucky. Of course, they lost two of their star assets last summer, Dan James and Ollie McBurney. But obviously, I mean, they've still done pretty good. They've got a lot of good players still. Swansea, like Grimes, has been great this season. And Van der Hall's still been there. And then I've got Reese Brewster on loan continuing his loan to the end of the season from Liverpool, so that's decent. And they still have to face the likes of Millwall, Leeds, Forest and Bristol City, so, you know, they're tough games for them. Ninth place, I'm sorry Swansea fans, but your blue rivals down the south coast of Wales is Cardiff, and that put them in ninth. They've really not been good enough. I thought they would go back up Cardiff, but they have, they've been lower than ninth for most of this season. And they've still got tough games like Leeds and Preston in their first two games back, as well as Bristol City, Blackburn and Fulham. All huge games. And again, only one win in five. I just find that incredible. But Cardiff ninth for me. Eighth place, Millwall. Now, this is actually incredible. I'm putting Millwall this high for most of the season. They haven't even been this high at the table and their first season back in the championship from League One, they nearly did get promoted or at least get the playoffs more like. 
last season they were quite poor again this season they're back to doing bits again so credit to them but what could work in their favor and i could genuinely see them making the playoffs i really could they have to face swansea and blackburn and all the other games i think they genuinely could win so you never know you could see millwall make the playoffs but again even their form wasn't great only two wins in five but both of them were against two tough teams in forest and preston so that's still impressive. Now, this is going to be incredibly tight between Preston and Bristol City. But in the end, I actually opted to put Preston out of the playoffs. They're currently in it by a point right now at the time of recording. But I think they're going to drop out. They've got some very tough fixtures. And I think they're going to be just a little bit weaker than Bristol. They still have to face Cardiff, Forest, Brentford. And would you believe it? I cannot believe this, man, when I found this out. Bristol City... On the last day, that could decide the final player place. Bristol City versus Preston North End on the last day to potentially decide who gets that final player place. I don't see either of them winning the playoffs, but that is incredible. But unfortunately for them, I do think it will be Bristol City that make the playoffs. The last two years, they've come really close to getting it. 11th and 8th, I believe. But this season, I think they finally are going to break that. They've had lots of good players still. And Aki Wells coming in has also helped that out a lot. And they do still have to face the likes of Blackburn, Forest, Cardiff, Swansea and Preston. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty tough. But I think some of them are definitely winnable. Just hopefully not the Forest one. Currently a point off. I could see it happening. But again, even their form isn't that great. I mean, it's, it is actually incredible. They're not even won for the last six games in the league. So... It's, I mean, we'll see. Fifth place, of course, you know who it is. My team, Nottingham Forest. We've been in the playoffs basically all the season. Even our form isn't that great. Only one win in five. And again, since we beat bloody Leeds, our form's tanked. Just like Sheffield Wednesday. Not as much, thankfully. But still, it hasn't been great. We've been in the top six basically all season. And, you know, if we got a few better results, we could have been in the automatics. Because when we beat Leeds, we were two points off them. Now we're ten. And we have a run of four games after Sheffield Wednesday and Huddersfield which could, I think, decide our season. Bristol City, Derby, Fulham, Preston, as well as Swansea after that as well. I think we'll be fine. More than fine in the playoffs. Will we win it? <sighs> Who knows? Probably not. Fourth place, Brentford. Another fantastic team. Another fantastic season. Ollie Watkins has been brilliant. 22 goals for someone so young. It's inevitable that he's going to join a bigger team like Everton in the Ports of the Korea mode, of course. I could see him going to a club like that. And again, not amazing form either. And the remaining big games left are Fulham, uh, West Brom, Preston. So huge, huge games in their promotion rates. More than comfortable in the playoffs for me, without a doubt. But I do not see them getting the automatics, unfortunately, for them. But anyway, third place, Fulham. They've been brilliant. They're the most likely team to catch West Brom and Leeds. But, I mean, I, I don't see it happening. Scott Parker, credit to him. Not a huge amount of experience before last season coming in as a caretaker. And he's been brilliant. They've still got a lot of players they had in the Premier League. Mitrovic has been absolutely fantastic with 23 goals this season, which is, again, brilliant. Recent form isn't even that bad. Two wins in five, and a lot of those non-wins are actually against the top sides as well, so that's fair. They'll have to face the likes of Brentford, Leeds, Forest, Cardiff, and West Brom. So a very, very big test for them. So, of course, we know the top two, Leeds and West Brom and Jalbium. But who's going to win the damn thing? Well, I've put West Brom in second and Leeds in first. The credit to Leeds. But West Brom, I'm putting them in second. They've had so many good players. Pereira's been brilliant this season. Again, only two wins in five is actually quite incredible. Even they've slipped up. So, you know, Forest fans can't be too annoyed. They've lost to bloody Wigan, you know. It's incredible. Both teams have lost to Wigan and Stoke, uh, West Brom have. They've got a few tough games left, such as uh, Brentford, Blackburn and Fulham. That Fulham game could potentially decide if Fulham have any chance of catching them, but I don't see it happening, to be quite honest. But there we go. West Brom in second. Leeds in first. Leeds haven't Leeds haven't lost since we beat them, which is quite incredible as well. A bit like Forest, if anyone won since we beat them, which again is kind of classic, really. Five straight wins for Leeds. They still have to face the likes of Cardiff, Fulham, Blackburn, Swansea and Derby, which is, of course, not really a promotion rival unfortunately for them but still derby v leeds is always a huge game so many jokes about leeds potentially bottling it again but i do not see it happening most of the time leeds are a quality side and people only pick up on them when they start to lose like every team really but there we go that is my championship predictions for the rest of the 2019-20 season it's incredible that it's going to be played out in june and july we weren't meant to have the euros but we've got the bloody league without the fans unfortunately but it is what it is unfortunately i just said unfortunately again I need to stop that.
But anyway, please do like and subscribe too, guys. Let me know other stuff I can do for football videos. Obviously, previews will be coming back soon, like I said earlier, um, which is fantastic. Can't wait to do them. Sheffield Wednesday up first for Forest. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you've enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you have. And I'll see you very soon.